today I'm gonna be going around my entire zoo. We're gonna be poop scooping the zoo here, and this looks like nice, healthy cat poops. Hey, so we've got this right here now. Of course. <sighs> Stinky. Picking up all this nasty, crazy poop is part of the daily routine. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. For those of you that are new to the channel, well, I'm Jacob, and this right here is Theo Jr., my little capuchin monkey, Theo. Theo's looking at some bugs. You want to say hi, Theo? Theo lives here on my beautiful five-acre preserve here in sunny South Florida. Now, if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know today's video is definitely a different one than we've done. Today, I'm going to be going around my entire zoo. We're going to be poop scooping the zoo, getting all the poop up from my sloths, lemurs, leopards, servals, and well, who knows what else. So guys, if that sounds like something you all are interested in, well, I got to go put Theo away and we're going to hop right into that. So to get started today, the first enclosure that we're actually gonna be poop scooping is actually my serval enclosure. So this right here, for those of you that are new here, is Cheech and Chong. These are both my African servals. This is Mr. Cheeto Man right here. Cheeto is a very nice, good boy. He's so big, he's long. Oh wait, that is not Cheeto, that's Chong. I got him confused. Anyways, as I was saying, these are my African servals. I rescued them. They were surrendered to me by someone who had them without the proper permits. If you guys want to check out their story, we'll scroll back on the channel. But they are just the best serval boys in the world. They're so big, so sweet, and just the greatest cats. So we're going to put them on down. And if you come over here, by the looks of it, it looks like they have a dirty litter box. And today's video is all about poop scooping. I'm giving you guys a first-hand look at what it takes to actually run a zoo. Everyone thinks it's all about cuddling the animals and playing with them, when in fact, most of the work is actually involving the cleaning. Cleaning the poop, cleaning the pee, scooping litter boxes. It is all involving that. So as you can see, we've got a dirty litter box and this is a new litter that I tried. I don't recommend it. It's like sand, it's really horrible. But basically we've got some poops in here and this looks like nice, healthy, cat poops hey hey don't jump on it so we got the nice healthy cat poops and we're just gonna scoop that poop right on up just like that we're gonna shake 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 and in the trash bag the poop goes and not only is there poop in here but we were in for a nice little treat we also got some pee so we're just gonna go right under the pee and we're just gonna scoop it all on out just like that it clumps together nice and well that's the one thing i will say about this litter is it does clump together pretty nice but i don't like how finely ground it is it's almost like salt it's almost like, literally like sand on a beach so we got our poop we're getting your litter box nice and clean buddy so this litter box actually gets cleaned twice a day in the morning and in the afternoon so it's a lot of work taking care of these animals each and every day and well it looks like we got this litter box nice and clean we're just gonna shake 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 get it nice and mixed and now that we poop scooped our serval enclosure well we have got to head over to, well, we got a couple of options here. We can head over to the sloths, we can poop scoop them, we can do the lemurs, or nebula, my clouded leopard. So before we go over to our next enclosure, let me know where we should go next. Should it be the leopard, should it be the lemurs, or should it be the sloths? Let me know down below. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, there you go. So I have decided that the second animals that we are going to be poop scooping today, guess it, if you guys have seen it, guess it. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it is my sloths. I have three two-toed sloths. They definitely poop there. They poop almost every day. So we are gonna go in there. We're gonna poop scoop them. I've got my rake. I've got my scooper. So guys, let's head in and check them out. All right, let's head on in. Let's check them on out. All right, we made it into the sloth room. Here we are. And as you can see, these are my three sloths. So this is Bean right here, my favorite little sloth girl. Can I have a kiss? That is Bean right there. We have Sid the sloth munching on some sweet potato, and then we have Suki. These three incredible sloth kids are just amazing. I absolutely love them. They're munching on their delicious buffet of vegetables. Now, we've got to see if they pooped. Guys, did you poop in here? Wait, what was that? What? Ho ho hold on, they're, they're talking to me. What was that? Okay, so Bean just told me that, that they pooped right over here, so let's go. Oh, I see it. They pooped right there. Come take a look. So, <clears throat> so right over here is all of our sloth poop. It looks like there's some poop right here and here. Now, you're going to have to get really close up on it to see it because they're actually just like little deer pellets. So this is actually a perfect opportunity to do the poop scooping. The sloths are distracted over there. They're eating. They're munching away. But we've got our poop here. Now, we're going to actually rake this poop. I do this every single day. and. What's really cool about the sloths is 
kind of like how the servos use a litter box. The sloths always poop in this same area. They never poop over here. They stick, they stick to kind of just one area because they are, you know, hygienic animals. So we're gonna come here right now. We're just gonna put our scraper in and we're just gonna scoop some of this poop in. Now we've got a lot of this poop and there's definitely some pee mixed in here. Now, if you come take a look at this right here, this is exactly what we wanted to see. We wanted to see nice, healthy sloth poop. Now I'm sure you're wondering, what does healthy sloth poop look like? Well, these little pellets that almost look like deer poop are what healthy sloth poop looks like. When they're in this nice, firm pellet form, that's when you know the sloth has a healthy gut, they're doing well. When the poop is mushy and slushy and all stuck together, well, that's not a good sign at all. That means that the sloth that the sloths have something in their digestion, but we give them a great diet here. But I give them a great diet here full of the best quality fruits, vegetables, monkey biscuits, as well as probiotics. So we've got this right here. Now, of course, whew, that's stinky. So let's get this on in. We're just gonna pour this right down the trash. There we go. So we got that in. Now I've touched poop on this hand, so we're gonna get rid of that glove right there. We're gonna get rid of that. Now we wanna get the surrounding mulch because the surrounding mulch has a little bit of pee on it. I can see that it's damp. So we're just gonna kind of rake all this. And as you can see right here, all these pellets are just all mixed into the mulch. So we just really wanna thoroughly clean and scoop this entire area. We've scooped our poop, but you know what? I think I can get one last cluster. Look at this. Oh, you know what? I'm just, I'm gonna grab that by hand. Let's just take this. This cluster's in. We're going in one, two. All right, that is away. Now, it looks like we cleaned this area pretty well, but I wanna get right here. This is what I'm looking at. All these little pellets. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Nice, healthy sloth poop. You can see there are all these pellets. Smells. Oh, man, smell it. Come on, smell it. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. that's Rip. terrible. Nasty stuff, guys. Um, I, I don't recommend smelling sloth poop. So we've got our sloth poop here. We're just gonna take this and we're going to dump it on in. So I poop scooped the entire enclosure for my incredible sloth kids because I wanna make sure they have a nice, clean environment. I am pretty OCD about everything, so I follow a very strict cleaning and feeding protocol. So we got to poop scoop our sloths. Now the only two animals left are my lemurs, Rue and Rufus, and my clouded leopard, Nebula. So I think we're gonna do Rue and Rufus, my lemurs first, and save Nebula for last. So we're gonna head on out of here and go clean my lemurs. So for our third enclosure of the day that we're gonna be poop scooping, more like poop spraying, is my black and white lemurs. This right here is Rue, my little girl lemur, my daughter, and then of course, my son, Rufus. Rufus is an absolute doll. He's probably the best lemur that I have ever met. He's just so nice and calm. Rue, don't touch the camera. Rue's going after the camera. But Rufus is a good boy. Rue is a good girl. But the only thing is, if you come down here, they poop like crazy. Right now, this is all of the poop from just last night. In this enclosure specifically, we spray it out twice a day to get all of the poop out. Now, good thing for the lemurs is they spend most of the time up high in the branches. They don't really hang out on the floor. And Rufus is getting the hose. Come here, buddy. So basically what we're gonna do today is we are gonna be spraying all of this poop out. Now, in order to do that, we've actually gotta put these little lemurs away in their lockout so they don't bother us. What is it? What? So in order to do that, we've got to put the lemurs away in the lockout. So I've got Rue here. I'm going to take my son, Rufus. Rufus, come on, my boy. Come on, Rufus. Let's go, Rufus. Rufus? Rufus, can you come? Well, we're going to leave Rufus hanging on here. He loves to hang and swing. And we're going to take Rue, my female. We're going to put Rue in her lockout while we can. Here you go. There Rue goes. And here is my boy, Rufus. Rufus, come. Now that Rue is in there, we've got Rufus, my son. We're going to put him in there while we clean. Here you go, buddy. And they are in. So both of the lemur kids are in their lockout while we clean. That way they don't get in our way. So basically how I clean the lemur enclosure twice a day is the first thing we wanna do is we wanna put it on this setting right here. And we actually spray all the poop to the center drain. And we got, wanna move this swing out of the way. We're gonna put this right here. And basically what we do is I have this drain here and all the poop gets sent down the drain and actually into a septic tank. So this is actually probably the cleanest way you can actually keep primates. So we're just gonna take it like that. And as you can see, look at this pile here. This is all just a ton of poop. Now all of this poop is gonna go right down in the drain and it disappears. So that right there is how you do it. I've got a lot of poop to clean. So guys, I'll see you once we're done. One hour later.
And I think we are done. And if you guys take a look at it now, the enclosure is literally spotless. And that is how I do everything here. I make sure that every animal's enclosure looks like it was just clean. Like I could eat food right off the ground. Look at it, the floor. You guys know what it looked like before. And now after, it looks absolutely perfect. So right now we gotta take our swing. We're just gonna put this swing back on down just like this. We're gonna feed this hose on out and we're gonna feed that hose on out in a second. But right now, we have to let the lemurs out and we have their dinner. So in the, for the afternoon feeding for the lemurs, I really just give them biscuits and leafy greens and in the mornings they get fruits, vegetables, all kinds of good stuff. So guys, let's open it on up. Come on right now in three, two, one. It's locked. And the lemurs are free. Come on guys, come out. Rue, would you like a biscuit? Would you like a biscuit with my James? Would you like a biscuit? You want that? Sniff? Oh, I know what you want. You want lettuce, don't you? Oh my goodness, Rufus is eating his lettuce. Roo! Oh, the lettuce is so yummy, Rufus. Look at that. Rue and Rufus are going to enjoy their meal. We're gonna take their biscuits and we're gonna put it over on this far end of the enclosure. We've got the biscuits in the enclosure and well, now, last but not least, we're gonna go right now. We're gonna head over to Nebula, my clouded leopard's enclosure and see if there's any poop. And last but not least, we are gonna be poop scooping Nebula, my clouded leopard's enclosure. So let's head on in, let's go in right now. How you doing, mom? Oh my gosh, how is my child doing? Oh my goodness. So this is Nebula. Nebula is my incredible year old clouded leopard. Now I'm sure you probably see her eyes. They're looking a little blue. She actually has an eye condition, which I'm gonna be um, addressing in a further video. Now Nebula's a year old. I've had her since she was eight months old. She's super sweet. So she is off around hanging out. So if you guys wanna know more about Nebula, more about her eyes, well, I'm gonna be doing um, an update video on that very soon. Come here, Miss Nebby. Come to dad. You want to come to your father? Oh, yes. So nice. Oh, yes. So good. So, Nebula, I got to poop scoop your enclosure, okay? I'm going to poop scoop it. So, you kind of just stay right there. Now, this enclosure has a concrete floor. Now, Nebula spends most of her time way up high in the trees, up on the branches. So, Lance does not want to come in with Nebula. He's a little bit scared. So, basically, what's going on is we've got some poop in here. Now, there's leaves from the tree that kind of blew in. So, we've actually got the poop here. So, this is one piece of poop. Now, Nebula actually poops all near the drain. So, it's just like a little scavenger hunt finding her poop. Now, if you look at her poop, this was probably done last night. It's still moist. Um, so, it's looking nice and healthy but there's a bunch of poops in here now nebula gets about a pound of food a day which means there's gonna be a bunch of poop every single day in her enclosure picking up all this nasty crazy poop is part of the daily routine with nebula it's something that gets done every single day to make sure her enclosure stays nice and clean so right here I'm actually gonna make a little pile full of nebula's poop so we got a nice little pile right there and well we've got another pile that we need to check on out so we're gonna get this piece that piece Ooh, this little one was hiding we're gonna get this piece right here and that one and as far as my eyes can see the, the only thing that's left on the floor here is just a, a bunch of leaves. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to try to do this. I'm going to try and grab this whole pile. Oh, I don't think I can do it all with the one hand. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try and pick all of this poop up at once. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glove and the glove is going to act as the bag. So you can see we've got all this poop right here. Now we got to use this poop and... We have got to get it all up on here. Look, I think I, okay, look at that. Ooh, we almost got it, look at that. Exactly as planned. Our poop is in the glove now. So the last step of all is, there's actually a bunch of leaves in here. So we're just gonna take this blower, we're gonna blow all the leaves out right now. And well, that's what we're gonna do and that is gonna end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, poop scooping my entire zoo. So if you guys wanna see more of these behind the scenes video, we'll make sure to go right now, let me know down below. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you wanna see more clouded leopards, you wanna see more poop scooping, you wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well guys, all you gotta do is, oh my my gosh, go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you will be notified whenever I post.